because through three or day almost 40 right out of the front. <laughs> we knew it would be crazy, but <laughs> that is how it went. Yeah, it was really hard to uh, to control, I think. Uh, and then they just let a lot of riders go, and then you know there has to be a uh, there has to be made a difference uh, between. Uh, the the, uh, the big group because it doesn't turn around with 40 guys there are some guys who uh, were always uh, like uh, going in the back and leaving gaps you know and uh, then you want to be in a good one and I think uh, we went quite fast up one climb up uh, and uh, we created a group of nine riders strong riders unfortunately for us Alaphilippe was uh, already gone uh, with some good legs yeah it was gone more than 120 k's to go did you think at this moment it would go to the end no, not at all, because uh, I thought it was really, uh, yeah, a really early move, and especially with two guys. Uh, I thought it was way too early, but uh, yeah, congrats to Julia to, uh, to finish so strong. Uh, so you try your luck in the last climb. At what moment you understood it would be really complicated to get him? <coughs> uh, yeah, actually, until the last climb, I thought it was uh, was possible because he was not so far away, but also he rode very fast up the climb. And uh, yeah, I thought it was possible on the, at the bottom of the climb, but uh, yeah, as soon as we were on top and we didn't see him, it, I knew it was going to be hard because then uh, he was really fast up the climb and you know he had good legs. Quite surprising because uh, you guys had the numbers and quality names back there and he'd been away for 120 kilometers. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, he must have had a really good pair of legs, uh, like I said. Uh, of course, there's a little bit the thing with the cameras there in front, but of course, yeah, they are with two guys. They know it. It's also it's a part of the race. So, uh, yeah, we did our best to catch the make, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out. No, Valgren called that climb just brutal. How brutal was Monte Jove? Yeah, it was quite hard. Uh, Michael, Michael Valgren uh, started really early on the climb, uh, going full gas already, and I thought that, that was very optimistic, but. Uh, yeah, he maintained that uh, pace and then uh, I took over and uh, on top we were just with two riders, but it was really, really brutal. You, you opened the sprint against uh, Narvaez, was it a good uh, decision or a bad one afterwards? 